What's up guys and welcome back to part two of our Mooney cross country adventure, I guess we'll call it. If you guys haven't seen part one, make sure you go back and watch that. Uh, my buddy Lee and I flew out uh, all the way to Seattle from Charleston, South Carolina. Um, and made it all the way to the eastern side of Washington on our first leg. Another question that came up is why is Lee with me and why is he flying left seat? We are both pilots, but Lee is IFR rated and he owns a Mooney. Um, he also has a lot of hours, so he met the open pilot warranty requirements for my insurance. So he's legally allowed to fly my airplane on my insurance without him being on the insurance. Um, so rather than fly out there with a flight instructor, I took my buddy Lee so we could make an adventure out of it. So he's technically the pilot in command while we are flying. Um, but yeah, part two, let's go. End of leg two. End of leg two. Um, we are in Helena, Montana. Um, it is freaking gorgeous here. Um, and yeah, we're this is lunch stop, so we're here to go to the bathroom, grab some lunch. Things are going pretty well. We're a little bit behind schedule time-wise, but that's okay. Goal today is Sioux Falls. That's where we want to make it, Sioux Falls. So that was leg two. GoPro cameras are definitely dead at this point. Um, so, I'll give you guys leg updates as uh, we get a little bit closer. Peace. And this is our courtesy car in Helena, Montana. Let's open. Oh, it is open. Whoo, doggy. Oh my god. Okay. It's hot. Started right up. Look at that. Oh man, you had one of these back in the day. <laughs> smells good in here. Yeah, you're rolling in. That's how we do it. All right, so we are in Montana. Yeah, uh, Wiley Field. Wiley Field, Montana. Yeah, we're at Wiley Field in Montana. Don't know the town. Um, this is the end of our third leg today. Yep. Our third leg today. And this FBO, every airport we've been to has been freaking amazing. Oh yeah, I forgot my phone at the last FBO. So that is in the other side of Montana. They are gonna ship that back to Charleston. So I have no phone the rest of this trip, classic. Um, but look at this FBO. So, charging, coffee, snacks, clean, freezer full of ice cream bars, yes. Snack mix, delicious. Also, all the engine oil and everything is open, like if you need it. You engine oil, everything's open, money. yeah. <laughs> so if you showed up here and no one's here, grab your oil. Pay for it, honor system. Oh yeah, yep, oh, lead. Let's say you're tired, boom. <laughs> Let's say you need to print something, boom. Love this place. Let's see, look at, they even have SD card slots for if you need to update your Garmin <laughs> GPS, which I would have killed for <laughs> this morning. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and then like just, this is an amazing FBO. On the off chance that one of the 1,000 people that watch this video is the manager of Wiley um, Field Airport. 
awesome airport, amazing. Um, and we got one more leg, we're gonna end up in Sioux Falls tonight, so. Let's do it, Lee. How's that ice cream? It's real good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are at the end of day one. Um, we are in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. So we made it all the way here. And actually, this is a great map. So you can see we started here and we flew halfway across the country and ended up here, Yankee 14. So that is a hell of a day. That's like 950, maybe a thousand miles of flying. Um, in a day, so that's that's a good day. Um, super bummed, I left my phone in Montana, um, like I said in that last video, but luckily that guy's gonna try to send it to me tomorrow, um, and I got Lee's phone if I need it, so not a huge deal, but this is the third airport today, or fourth airport today that we've lucked out on. Um, FBO is wide open, um, it's warm in here, bathrooms, everything, so we are dead tired, I can see it in my I feel puffy. <laughs> it's a long day of flying, but we're headed to the hotel. So day two starts tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Chicago or bust tomorrow. So I'm um, going to see my, my buddy, Kevin. And uh, yeah, we'll see. You got 110 to 113, props at 2500, throttles set wide open, mixture set where we want it. Climb checklist complete. Alright guys, so change of plans today. Um, today was supposed to be our leg to Chicago to hang out with my buddy, but uh, the weather dictates otherwise. Um, South Bay, 30 Minneapolis, Center, good afternoon. There's a chance we'd make it in there, and then, only a slim chance we'd make it in there rather. And then a good chance we would not be able to make it out tomorrow. Um, whereas today, if we stay south of Chicago, we have a straight shot basically all the way to South Carolina. And so that's what we're doing. So we're going to we're gonna end up today in Charleston. That's the plan. So only a two-day trip rather than a three. See what we have had to do here, kind of, we're able to maintain course for a while. Now we've deviated south to get around this big squall line or whatever we're, we're calling it. Um, you can see out the window here, we've got a clear line of sight to the ground all around us. And our plan is to get around these buildups right directly in front of us. And then find a path down and uh, fly under all of this, this shit build up here. And then hopefully pop back up on the other side. That's the plan right now, but that's what we've been dealing with. Um, been mostly smooth so far. And, uh, yeah, that's where we're at. That looks like a halfway decent gap right there. Shoot, yep. shoot that, dude. Uh, I don't want to get any closer to this thing. No, oh, man, look I, at that. I, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I, I don't know if we're going around this way. American 1079. Uh, yeah, let me get past this thing and we'll make that turn. You, you're going to go straight ahead? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Like through these, in between these two and then left. left to where you're pointing to, just around this thing. Oh, see, I would have, if you weren't here, I would have done that. I just don't want to be any closer to that thing. Yeah. yeah that's a big mama. Yeah. It's pink. But my thought process is if you see the clouds floating there, you know it's not a downdraft. Right? So the clouds are sitting there, you know the air is sitting there. Yeah. I guess. Yep. I see clouds sitting all the time, and there's 
ups and downs in them, though. <laughs> down drafts around them, but there was the, the gap had one like in the middle. I, that's what I was thinking. Okay. I gotcha. Play the 689. Damn, that's you. pretty. The definition Say with again? the sun shining on it like that. Yeah. Good picture, that's it. We are IFR, so we are good to go. Shooting these gaps, man. This is this is what it's all about. Oh, we might not need to descend, buddy. No, buddy. That's clear as hell. Beautiful. Awesome. Right around the south end of that storm, which is what we were wanting to do. Look at that. Big motherfucker. What? I, I uh, have low voltage. Uh, low voltage. Uh -oh. Okay, Colin Center, say again, you got to step down. Well, yeah, 6 one seven, I do it. Roger, I'd like to, I'd like to uh, request 5,000 to get underneath these clouds. November 7, 9, Julia, right there, I'm going to maintain 5,000. Um, showing a uh, low voltage. What? 7, 9, Julia, just send a maintain 5,000, and do you say something else? Oh, well, yeah, 7, 9, Julia, Roger. Uh, I have a uh, possible uh, voltage issue. I'm showing you a low voltage. Okay, uh, same intention. Uh, Lance, 792, uh, I don't need to land at the moment. Um, I'll let you know. I love, I love being IFR cleared to maneuver. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, that is uh, unusual. <laughs> okay, guys, well, we don't have to descend, so back to boring flying. Um, it's going to save batteries until we have to. Peace. Okay, so, update. We, cameras died before we could land, but the airport that we had planned to go to was a grass strip, and we did not check that before we left, embarrassing, but we deviated to a nearby airport that had reasonable fuel prices. And I know the GoPro's not catching this, but we stumbled upon a drag racing event at this airport. So they shut down this airport every other Saturday to do drag racing, and uh, we accidentally stumbled on it. The airport manager, the coolest guy ever, um, he escorted us to the fuel pumps, hooked us up, gave us a tour of the airport, and he's going to come back and get us after we get food, which we were hungry, so they actually have food trucks here, perfect. Um, he's going to come back and get us and take us to the starting line and get us on live TV so that we can, I don't know, talk on live TV or something. I don't know. But Lee, what the hell is going on, This is bro? amazing. <laughs> we're just, we're we literally the, the luckiest <laughs> trip ever, aside from having to miss Chicago. Everything has gone perfect. Even the leg here, we were able to maintain 11,000 the whole way. Missed all the bad yeah, weather. Yeah, minor deviations, just amazing. And now we're here, we got food trucks, <laughs> a whole thing going on. Um, but yeah, let's go walk around, check it out. Cars are cool, but can they fly? All right. All right, so we're at the start line now. <laughs> so, that's live TV right there. <laughs> Race fan, we got a couple of pilots that flew in. Just on a win to get fuel. The setup was pretty cool, and so I thought we'd come up to the start line. I'll let them introduce themselves to you, tell you what they think, where they're going. Okay, here it is. going on at all and happened to show up to a closed down taxiway and then found out there was race cars on it so we're pretty happy about that yeah. so flying from seattle washington to charleston south carolina it just happened to wind up at the thunder runway right in the middle of the trip by accident by Amazing. accident so i see you with the gopro and i hear you've got a youtube channel yep it's my name tom kubak just look google it pops right up so what's your youtube channel about flying so Why? this whole trip from Seattle to Charleston will be on there. I fly ultralights, 
Cessna is oh, a boomer. Wow. Yep. I missed it. I didn't even have it. Guy in your red car was sleeping. What was he doing? There. Now, if you want the things you see, man. Right, guys well, that does it we are in monk's corner south Yay. carolina <laughs> yeah we're in monk's corner we made it uh two days it took us to fly from seattle to charleston south carolina so um which sure i looked terrible that was a lot but um doable not not too bad um the last place we were at was amazing we got really lucky with weather everything uh, this last leg, or both legs today, we were able to maintain 11,000 the entire way. Didn't have to change our altitude for weather or anything. We were able to do it just with minor deviations. Um, some awesome IFR flying, and we did it. So we're back home um, in faster than we thought. That was going to take me at least until Sunday. I even told my boss I might not show up to work on Monday because I thought it was going to take so long. But um, just a great trip. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll think of a better outro later, but uh, we're gonna get everything cleaned up here. We've got to unload this entire plane full of crap, put it in my truck. And um, next weekend I start my actual training in this airplane. So uh, stay tuned for that. See you guys.